Okay, today we're talking about double pull, single throw, general purpose relays. <laughs> Model of relay we're working with today for this demonstration, part number R8222U. Again, it's a double pull, single throw relay with a 24 volt coil. You can see the contact ratings listed here. So a lot of times a general purpose relay like this will be used to uh, turn on a, a fan motor, um, an electric heater inside of a fan coil unit. These are ubiquitous in the HVAC industry. But basically the way a relay works, you apply the 24 volts to the coil. When the coil is energized, it's going to then close the switches that you see here in this diagram and allow your 120 volt power, 277 volt power, or 480 volt power to flow through the switches and out to that device that you're powering. So we can see here in the diagram, one and two are normally closed, one and three are normally open, four and five are normally closed, four and six are normally open. When the coil is de-energized. When you energize the coil, the position of those switches will reverse. So one and two will be open, one and three will close, four and five will be open, and four and six will close. So again, let's take a look at the actual relay now. So again, you see on top of this relay, the same wiring symbols. So no matter which way you install this, Always refer to this wiring schematic on the relay to get yourself oriented properly. And you'll notice the two bottom terminals here are your coil. And you can see there's no schematic symbol for the coil here. There's only schematic symbols for the switches in their normal resting state. And you can see how they're numbered as well. So I hope that makes sense. And then a coil, you'll have a hot wire coming in on one side and a neutral or sometimes called a common wire coming in on the other side. I've tried to clarify that in this demonstration. 24 volt hot will be black. 24 volt neutral or common is going to be white. Okay, so here's our demonstration board all set up. See, we have 120 volt power coming in. There's our general purpose relay, double pull, single throw. There's our neutrals, the white wires, green is ground. Here's our switch. Here's our light fixture with two separate light sockets. That's our transformer. It's a step down transformer, 120 volts coming in, 24 volts going out to the switch, to the coil on our relay. So it's a step down transformer. When I turn on the power, you can see that the light one and two both turn on. So 120 volts is coming into the general purpose relay on the left side and coming out on the right side. I'm using my non-contact voltage tester to show you that those wires are live. We'll use a multimeter set to alternating current and we'll take a voltage reading. So you can see from ground to each of these terminals, we have 120 volts. So it's 120 volts coming in and 120 volts going out on each of these terminals up here on the relay. Now this bottom set of terminals is your coil. And so you've got 24 volts across those two terminals. That means the coil is currently energized. We turn off the switch, the lights turn off. Why? Because we've de-energized the coil. But we still have 120 volts on these two terminals where our hot power comes in to the general purpose relay at the switches, but nothing on the output side. Because the coil down here, you can see, is de-energized. So I hope that makes sense. 
So now if I remove one of these wires, only one light bulb will turn on. Just light number two. And again with our meter, let's take a look. So from ground to that first terminal there, 120 volts. And we still have 120 volts coming out the other side, but we've disconnected the wire so there's no power going to that light number one. But there is power going to light number two. And again, check across our coil, we got 24 volts. Turn it off. I'll reattach this wire, pull off the other wire. Now the other bulb should turn on, and the other bulb, light number two, is off. So general purpose relays come with different ratings. When you're replacing a relay, make sure you get the correct rating as far as voltage and amperage for the circuit you're installing it on and the component it's supplying power to. These are ubiquitous in the HVAC space. So I hope this little demonstration helps you better understand relays. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.